Oh boy. Oh boy, here we go. Yeah, here we go again. Here we go again. We're going to do our best, everyone. We're, we're going to try. We're going to try. <laughs> <We're> gonna... <coughs> People pay for this shit. <laughs> <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen. We're here. We're back at home. We're here. We're back at home. Why don't home. you tell the people what the absolute gall darn you were doing? You were vast. You were so would- ready for sex. And somehow you still got it. <laughs> I'm, s- dude, I'm sorry, man. I, w- I can't stop myself from licking pedestrian buttons, dude. I can't believe you. We talked about this. You can't sip on the gutter water. It's just not safe. <laughs> That's so good. Honestly, I feel you. <coughs> I hate when I walk down the street and I look at that tasty gutter sludge. I just want to take a bite. Mm-hmm. But times are different, man. Mm-hmm. You can't do that anymore. No way. So, like, yeah. whose pedestrian button did you lick? And why? What? I'm just asking what stoplight button you licked and why. <laughs> Your mom's. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, guys? This is the TMG Podcast. This is today's free episode. If you want this episode ad free and an extra bonus episode, you can find that right now on Patreon at patreon.com slash tiny And if not, Clear the flying stalkers may soon be solved. If you've never smoked weed at literal Woodstock, you're not a stoner. Goodbye. The Army Air Forces has announced that a flying disc has been found and is now in the possession of the Army. I'm gay as fuck. I'm gonna get my RC. The so called flying stalkers. Look at all these fucking chickens. Malone Brown, you hear this whole? No. Malone Brown dick in your mouth? <laughs> Please look at all the signs, fashion your seatbelt, and get ready for the base. Oh, also, by the way, we should mention that we had to move the Moment House show. We had to move the Moment House show because, you know, Corbin's obviously um, con- contagious. So August 5th, we'll be live from the ship still. So if you can make that, pull up, man. It's going <clears> to be a good time. Yeah, momenthouse.com slash tiny meat gang. Mm-hmm. It's on the 5th now of August, and it's going to be a good ass time. <laughs> it will. It might actually be better. Yeah. Who knows? We also have a, um, we may potentially Confirmed have special guests coming. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, that you're going to love. So that's great. Just in, in general, he, it's, it's, he's going to be on the ship. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. It'll be his first on. time. <clears throat> I love this man. Uh, this, whole- this sucks. This fucking sucks. Dude. I now now I know why people were so mad when we had to do this. And it, I hate the headphones. I hate everything. Everything. Sitting in this fucking chair. It stinks. I hate it. It's so who do, who can do podcasts like this? You know what? I don't understand the official podcast. Don't they do it like this? They do. Yeah, but you know what? <gasps> Go ahead and blur this because I don't know if I can. Monster. <laughs> <laughs> That's how. <laughs> Damn, what up, dog? Damn. <laughs> I don't know how we're gonna make it through the whole episode. <laughs> you see that fucking you see the punk rock show channel five video? Nah. When it goes to that massive dude, and he's like, I'm gonna take this balloon to the fucking neck. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it's like why? Because like, fucking hate authority or whatever. <laughs> and he just lets it rip. <laughs> those guys, those guys do whip it so much that they're like normal on whippets. Yeah. Which like is, they're so used to it, they can still like carry on a conversation or be filmed. I'll be so self conscious. I'd be like, uh, "What does a whip it feel like?" Know. I've never, I've never done one. It just feels like you, like, I don't know. It feels like you pass out almost, like as you blast off to another world. But you wouldn't know. Like you're like super, what, like in your head for heard. like ten seconds, and then that's what I've heard. Yeah, 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 that's what I've heard. Yeah, sorry, but continue. So you blast off for ten seconds, and then what? 
Well, I heard that that's when you climax, actually. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So you're telling me if I hit a NOS balloon, I'm going to just... <laughs> <laughs> Your first couple times, you got to be careful. It feels so good that you... <laughs> got to be careful spreading this information, man. People are going to be using... Yeah. Because, you know, uh, everyone likes the gas station pills now. It's popular. It's popular to mess around with the gas station pills and, you know... Is it actually? Like... I mean, you know, the, just... You know, rhino leaf or whatever that one's called? I mean... Remember that horny rhino? Yeah, but based on... I'm not going to name names, but remember you were telling me about the guy who just, like, kind of pops a, a, you know, a blue Skittle just to be chubbed up periodically? Mm-hmm. You got to be careful, man, because you're going to send guys out there and they're going to be carrying a mini can of nitrous. They're going to be going on these first, you know, first dates, Tinder dates, and she's going to look back and this dude's going to have a balloon, <laughs> a balloon to his head. Looking like I'm gonna a, take this fucking I'm gonna take this balloon to the fucking neck for a second, yeah. <laughs> and then we'll and then we'll why don't we go somewhere more private? <laughs> you down? <laughs> All right, dope. I was thinking about it more like in the moment, like whose is this? It's yours. Whose is this? <laughs> whose is this? Huh? <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> Do that fucking scream. <laughs> I can hurt my throat. <coughs> we gotta make Cody laugh as hard as possible this episode. No, don't. No, I'm, <laughs> I'm about 30% energy levels. You know the funniest thing is <coughs> I said last week during the bonus when we were dying. Yeah. And I was like, next week's gonna be different. I'm gonna come with energy next week. And then I literally <laughs> got COVID. I got COVID. It's like, and I've never felt lower energy in my entire life. I like walk up the stairs and I'm done for the day. That's crazy. Done. Like I filmed a video today and I was like, I was like, I had to take a nap. Whoa. I can't imagine what I'm going to feel like after this. So t- tell us about your experience so far, you know? Yeah. Okay. Let me say this. So, you know, I'm, I I was fully I'm fully vaxxed and I say I put that in quotations because technically I am but we got the one shot J and J, which forever has been a little bit shady, you know. Yeah, it's always every headline is about Pfizer and, and Moderna. New data shows that Pfizer and Moderna, um, uh, proving effective against the Delta variant. Blah blah. blah. And I'm always I'm, where the fuck is J and J? I don't see the name anywhere in any of these headlines. Yeah. And I go and I search Reddit, Johnson and Johnson, and there's like one journal entry from some back alley medical journal, you know, that's like, yeah, we tested it on mice. <laughs> Seems like it's doing its, I don't know, they all died, so we couldn't really <laughs> tell what happened. That's that's what all we get for Johnson and Johnson. So like, you know, we're I'm we're fully vaccinated, but it's like, I I don't, you know, I was kind of scared, right? The Delta variant is is now rampant. It's now. <clears throat> The vast majority of the cases in the states yeah. is from the Delta variant. Almost all of them here, I'm pretty sure in LA, are. So I wasn't I wasn't sure. I was getting a little bit nervous about it, but I was going out and socializing, just like I had been since we got the vaccination, right? Right. And then uh, we went out like with some friends to a bar. It's close, you know, tight bar, sweaty people and stuff like that. And we all kind of felt like weird about it afterwards. And then <laughs> Wednesday. Um, Wednesday night, I started like getting like just feeling shitty, not like fever, but just like I just felt uncomfortable. You know, when you're like watching TV and you're like, something's wrong. Yeah. I can't get comfortable. I just felt like shit. I'm like, maybe I'm just too tired. I'm going to go to bed. And I woke up with a 102 fever and was like just pouring sweat. Felt so shitty. It felt exactly like when I had the flu, but it just lasted longer. It was three days. Jeez. Of 103, 104 fever. Um, sore everywhere like my skin hurt you know yeah just everything like a shirt when my teacher would touch my shirt and i would just fucking uh, just um it just sucked and so it was like three days i couldn't do anything and then yesterday i think yesterday was monday i think sunday i started feeling decent and then yesterday and that today i probably feel 95 percent, but i still have a cough i'm still kelsey's still fucked up She's got like she's super congested. She's had like a like a one hundred fever for four days now. Damn. Have you been able to like take anything, or you just been like it's like Ed, Tylenol? Yeah, Tylenol, whichever one is doesn't yeah. kill you. 
Damn. So I say that to say, like, I can't imagine how bad it would have been if I didn't get vaccinated. Sure. Because, like, it hit me fucking hard. Yeah. And, you know, I have that, I got that, uh, I'm immune, I'm, I'm immunized, as they say. So I can't imagine, I probably, like, it was, it was the most sick I've ever been, probably. And so I can't imagine how, how much worse it could have gotten without me going to the hospital. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, that's how bad it was. So I'm going to ask you this, between the tour flu that you got during the polar vortex, um, the stomach bug that you got on, on the road, and this, where does this rank on the Cody sickness tier list? I'd, say, I'd probably say COVID is number one. So it's an S. S tier. It's S tier, Okay. Yeah. What where, where are the other two at? Just so we have a little bit of context. Flu is A. Okay, so it's up there. Yeah, and then the stomach bug is like mid, because that's normal for me. I mean, I get, okay. <laughs> I get stomach shit all the time. All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. I got a little bit of stomach shit from the COVID, too. <laughs> I'm like, I'm sitting on the couch one day, and I'm like, oh, I think I almost just, sh- I think I just shit myself. <laughs> I run to the bathroom. Dude. Romance is not dead, you know? Nah, never. Your girlfriend wants to know about that, you guys. Yeah. If you're ever wondering. Oh, yeah. Fellas, every- she wants to know when you almost shit your pants. Anytime your lady says, um, did you go, how was the, how was your, how was the bathroom? How did, how was it? Tell her everything. Yeah. Like, oh, it was hard. Like, literally hard. Tell her, tell her how much you squeezed. <laughs> tell her the rate of fire when it's dropping into the toilet. Boop, 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 boop. Tell her everything. She wants to know. She really cares. <clears throat> okay, so you almost so you almost shit yourself. Yeah, like for real, yeah, yeah. for real. That was that was, but that was a highlight, you know. <laughs> 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 um, but get get vaccinated. That's what I will say, dude. <clears throat> the people out there, COVID fucking sucks. And uh, like I said, I don't think this is something where. It's like, why would you get vaccinated then if it's still going to... I can't... I probably would have had it way worse if I wasn't vaccinated. Yeah. That's the way I think about it. And I think that everyone should get vaccinated because this shit sucks. It's not fake news. So, um, I, I want to say two things. One, can I humiliate myself in the way of, of shit real quick? Mm-hmm. Uh, I've told this story on stream. And you can stop me if it's that disgusting because, you know, I have like a horrible sense of what's actually gross. Uh, So I had one particular pair of underwear on tour that I may have had a little. Okay. And it, I think it, I think it, it happened when, you know, it was really cold and we'd wear like four layers to go to sleep on the bus. Yeah. And we, we, it was an off day and it was one of those bad off days where it was just like a half day in the hotel. And I got to the hotel to shower and I dropped trout and I looked in there and I was like, what? And I was really embarrassed about that, you know, in my own head for a long time. So I'm just, I'm basically taking this opportunity to come out as um, someone who has shit, shit their underwear. Oh, you're also a pants shitter. One time. Yes. I'm a, I, welcome to the club. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome to the club. Yeah. It's nice to have you. <laughs> I just, you know, you're telling this story. I felt like you couldn't be alone out there. So I, I stand with you. <laughs> Really wish that <clears throat> Me Undies sponsored this one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that would have been a perfect segue. Because right after now. I shit myself, I put on a <laughs> nice pair of. <laughs> hey guys, we want to take a. <laughs> oh, you know what we should do for this episode? We should just fake everyone out when the ads are going to start. Yeah. Hey guys, like we just want to take a like quick us. break to say, what did Matthew McConaughey do this weekend at the Olympics? <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, we want to take a quick break to thank the sponsor of today's episode, Coinbase. Uh, if you've ever if you've ever been looking to level up your financial portfolio, it's always good to diversify. Why not think about cryptocurrency? Backed by the world's leading investors, Coinbase keeps your portfolio safe and secure while adding crypto into your mix. Yeah, Coinbase offers a trusted and easy to use platform to buy, sell, and spend cryptocurrency. They support the most popular digital currencies on the market and make them accessible to everyone. They offer portfolio management and protection, learning resources, and a mobile app so you can trade securely and monitor your crypto all in one place. Millions of people in over 100 countries 
I didn't even know there were that many countries. <laughs> they all trust Coinbase with their digital assets. Whether you're looking to di- whether you're looking to diversify, just getting started, or searching for a better way to access crypto markets, start today with Coinbase. I'm sorry for the stuttering. I have brain fog. <laughs> For a limited time, new users can get $5 in free Bitcoin when you sign up today at coinbase.com slash TMG. Sign up at coinbase.com slash TMG for $5 in free Bitcoin. This offer is for a limited time only, so be sure to sign up today. That's coinbase.com slash TMG. Not wait, so the other thing I wanted to say was, so just so everyone has a you know good picture here, I went to Vegas this past week. Yep. And <laughs> so I was already kind of nervous going in, you know, I was reading all these headlines, like the the mayor or governor of Hawaii said, if there's a place you shouldn't go, you absolutely should not go to Las Vegas. And yeah, I saw that. Part of me said, hey man, kick rocks. You're ju- this is just travel envy. You're just upset. More people are- You should have said, fine, I'll go to Reno. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, nothing's keeping me from those fucking <laughs> slot machines, baby. Oh, you think you think Vegas is the problem? Catch me in Laughlin, dude. <laughs> I'll go to Laughlin. <laughs> Laughlin? What the fuck is that? You never heard of Laughlin, bro? No. Pfft, that's like, that's like um, a gold mining town where kids were bred, and then they were told the rest of the earth like doesn't exist. Oh, I see. No, it's a bunch of old. I guarantee if we go there right now, there's a guy in a, in a Civil War uniform still that his grandparents gave him, and he's sitting in a slot machine right now playing in those clothes. He still thinks the war is going. <laughs> we win? <laughs> yeah, he's waiting for a telegram or something to come through to let him know that he can, you know, retire from yeah. duty. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, So... I'm trying to I'm trying to ignore everything. And then my car was acting a little bit weird. I got some strange error. <coughs> well, I'll put it like this. Car was acting like a little funky cuz the air conditioning was randomly just like not working very well. So I was thinking, uh, maybe I'm running it too low. This is kind of strange. And then as I'm driving, um I start I get this message that says like uh, electrical system malfunction and that just sounded scary so I'm in the middle of traffic I haven't really left LA yet and I, I get off the freeway and I'm going to pull over and while I'm trying to figure this out I call a dealership and I say hey I'm like right by I'm getting this weird error can I bring the car by they say yeah sure so I'm heading towards that dealership and as I'm driving I start getting tons of errors and things just start turning off. You know, first it's my radio and then it's this and then the AC and then my power steering and then my braking system and then my transmission turns off. And then I get this thing that's like, caution, car will roll away. And as all this is happening, I'm gently like trying to slow the car down and I can't throw it in park. So I like, uh, basically I crank the wheel and I push it against like a a curb and then I'm pulled over. Get out the car. I'm thinking, what the hell? just got this thing the fuck and then i open telegram and then you go i just tested positive for covid oh yeah (laughs) and then i'm sitting there with alina siva and his girl and i'm thinking did i just like infect everybody so now I'm, i'm sketched out i'm like uh i need to go get a test how do i get there this and that there was a place 15 minutes walking distance and I was too sketched to like order an Uber. So I say, fuck it. I, I just walk in the heat as they wait for the car to get like picked up. Okay. So I get tested. I'm negative. Cool. <coughs> Go to get the car. My car is still at that dealership. There's this whole thing. <laughs> is this the car that you recently got? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that sucks. So I got like a lemon part. It was like the alternator went out. So it was like really odd, whatever. Um, I think it'll be fixed by Friday. You know, whatever. That was like a, you know, I got, that happened. Things are going wrong. Like Yeah, yeah, yeah. But at that. I think you, you got the COVID scare, car's broken down. And now I'm freaking out about Las Vegas. Um, yeah. And I'm thinking, okay, like something bad's going to happen to me, whatever. So um, I'm saying all this because I want to tell you, you know, by the way, guys, gambling is horrible. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Don't, go, 
pre, uh, just as, as a precursor here, don't gamble. You will lose your money. Now, back to what I was saying. So as I'm waiting for the car to get fixed, I'm on the Rubit mobile app. And no, I'm, just, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. And so, you know, all this happens. We go to like, there's like a crazy rental car shortage. We go to get a rental car. The only thing I could get is like this Ram truck. Okay, sick. And we put all our luggage in the in the back and we're driving into a straight up storm. So there's like this 50 50 chance that all our clothes and shit are gonna get rained out. It just it's just feeling like a bad trip. We get there, you know, one day goes by, lose a little bit of money on slots, you know, like I maybe threw a hundred bucks in there. I'm like, all right, maybe this just isn't the weekend. But yeah. going there, Siva was like, I don't know, man, I still got a good feeling. I think I think we're gonna hit it big. By the way, guys, see, this is why you don't play slots because you're down, you're down a hundred bucks, you said? Yeah. Okay, so don't play slots. Don't. Oh, go ahead with your yeah, story. Yeah, don't ever play slots. So I put don't in $200 the next day. Okay, okay. <laughs> I get wrecked immediately. <laughs> it's not even... No, but... What? Okay, sorry, keep going. But, you know, it's, it's not even fair. Get my ass kicked. Okay. And... Now I'm hurt. I'm thinking, this really isn't my weekend. I just, you know, so now I'm 300 bucks in the hole. I'm like, what the fuck am I doing? And so then Siva's kind of, you know, he's going up and down a little bit. We go, we go have dinner. We, we go back to the machines and we get on this machine. You ever play this machine? Uh, revenge attack, like invaders from the planet Moolah. Return of the invaders from planet Moolah. It's the weirdest slot machine ever. Sounds awesome. It's really dope. The art is really cool. Gambling's really bad, by the way. The art is really cool. The premise of the slot is really interesting. It's like watching like a TV show. It's like it's it's fun, but gambling's awful. Yeah, don't do it. So I'm playing and I look over to Siva and he hits a bonus and it's going higher and higher, like onto the free spin amount. And if you've never played a slot, basically <coughs> every slot machine you want to hit three of like a special symbol and it'll give you free spins and then you know whatever uh you hopefully win some money so i i text cody while this is happening and siva's free spins are some absurd number it's like 50 or 60 and is it gets up to 500 bucks i'm like this dude has 75 free spins left and he's already at 500 dollars. this is crazy i can't you know, i've never witnessed someone like i've never known someone to win like this have you have you ever like been with someone who's yes. won okay yeah I've, I've been that guy oh how much have you won what's, what's the like the first, the first time that Sam and I played uh, the slot that we like, it was hitting like that. Okay. And we were like, we would get these bonuses that would result in like $500 spins. It was crazy. Okay. And so we got up to like 1500 bucks or something like wow. that. Wow. We put in like a hundred or something. Wow. All at once or yeah. was it like a... Yeah. Okay. Oh, it was a co over the course of like four hours. Okay. Okay. So yeah, we were just degenerate sitting there like doing stupid shit. Sure. Well, I guess, yeah. So I've never... I've never stood next to someone who's won that much off a slot machine, but especially not in one hand. So it's it's starting to like count up. It's getting to 700. And then he hits more free spins on top of like, there's 50 left and he goes back up to 70. I'm like, what is happening? <laughs> this thing goes all the way to $1,300 and he wins a jackpot. And everyone around him is like, whoa. Like <laughs> this one lady dog, she was down in the hole so bad. And I could just see oh, like- no how hurt she was watching this shit. So, okay, cool. Like he wins the jackpot. It's this whole thing. They make him come out, sign a paper. They have to, once it's over $1,200, they have to pay it out to you in person, which I thought was really interesting. And the way they pay it out to you is so like, it's just so funny. They go, hold out your hand, sir. And they make you put your hand like this so they can count it. So you can see okay. the money. So yeah. I'm like, wow, congratulations. You hit it big, dude. You did exactly what you said you were going to do. Hold on to that money. <coughs> We go to sleep, wake up, whatever. We wake up, we have breakfast. I'm like, if he won, come on, man. I gotta just like I gotta get at least get my money back. <laughs> so I throw a hundred back in. I'm fucking I'm four hundred in now, like a dumbass, and I'm getting worked. I go to Vanna, I'm like, Vanna, do me right. Vanna takes a fat shit right on my face. You're talking about Wheel of Fortune? Yeah. Okay, okay. I'm like, what is wrong with you, lady? She <laughs> You bitch. Yeah, I'm cussing. I thought you were cool. Yeah, I'm cussing her out. And as I'm playing, I look over. 
because Siva calls my my name. He goes, Noel. I'm like, I look, and he 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 goes like this with his hands. I'm like, <laughs> this this fun. What what was that? was it? Did I just see thirteen hundred? We walk over. His girl hit a jackpot. <laughs> 1500 on the bucks same machine? on a different machine yeah. and she hit it within like five minutes of sitting down jesus christ hey guys we want to take another quick break to thank another sponsor of today's episode that's hello fresh uh-huh. with hello fresh you get fresh pre-measured ingredients and mouth-watering seasonal recipes delivered right to your door skip trips to the grocery store and count on hello fresh to make home cooking fun easy and affordable and that's why it's america's number one meal kit HelloFresh cuts out stressful meal planning and grocery store trips with less prep, less effort, and minimal cleanup, so you can enjoy cooking and get dinner on the table in just about 30 minutes. HelloFresh's calorie-smart options make it easier to enjoy tasty, lower-calorie meals this summer without scouring the grocery store for ingredients and the web for easy recipes. (laughs) This summer, HelloFresh has everything you need to get grilling. Grilling bundles, burger packs, surf and turf packs, and more mean... And more mean less shopping and more sizzle. I love HelloFresh every night in the kitchen when I'm making dinner. I especially love the bibimbap. That's a Korean dish that my wife and I enjoy. You can enjoy that alongside Cody if you go to HelloFresh.com slash TinyMeat14 and use TinyMeat14 for up to 14 free meals plus free shipping. That's HelloFresh.com slash TinyMeat14 and code TinyMeat14 for up to 14 free meals plus free shipping. It's real because I just said that. HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit. So are you fuming at this point? No, I'm, I'm happy for them. I'm like, they flew in, they they won this money, that's fucking awesome, I'm getting my ass kicked. I would have been jealous as fuck, I would have been envious. I mean, yeah, of course I'm jealous, but like... (laughs) I would have been been 0% happy, I would have been happy on the surface for them. Wow, nice job, (laughs) so proud of you guys. (laughs) Wow, that's really cool that you won. Oh, yeah, oh yeah, so great. Love it. Hmm... Nothing. Ah, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's so cool when the machine doesn't bend you over and fuck you. <laughs> it's really cool for you, though. I'm super happy. So uh, they win, and he continues to just hit these little strides where he's making a little more here, making a little more there. And, <coughs> you know, so... Now I'm four. Uh, just to cap it off, I go. I'm 400 deep on slots. There's, there's no way. The poker room was way too packed, and after you tested positive, I was really sketched out on being that close to people because they took yeah. the plastic bank teller visors out. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, mm, I'm okay. So I go. You know what? Blackjack, right? Yeah. That's that's gonna work out, right? Yeah. Uh huh. No. No, you got slammed. I put 300 in. And the casino just <laughs> sucked me off. Like Chloe? <laughs> yeah. Hi, I'd like to play. <laughs> they, shouldn't even, they shouldn't even like let you put it down on the table. You know what I'm saying? It should just be a vacuum, like a tube, like mm-hmm. in Willy Wonka. Mm-hmm. That Augustus Gloop goes up or whatever. Yeah. It should be one of those. And you just put the, it goes, it's just constantly. <laughs> yeah. And you, I can't breathe. I have the lung capacity of a small baby right now. Yeah. And it goes up to the casino. Yeah, and then, and then they give you an iPad with a Coco Melon video that's 30 minutes long, and you just watch that. Yeah. And you just p- yeah. turn your brain to mush, and then you put in another $300, and you watch another Coco Melon video, mm-hmm. and then the dealer just stands there, and they're like, you want to hit? You want to stay? I would, lo- I would love another hit. Yeah. Bing, 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 bing. yeah and it goes straight up to this room with a bunch of dudes who are drinking champagne and just looking out the window and you see the money just flying in the air mm-hmm. all around them <laughs> yeah they're just in a gigantic money telephone booth like those yeah. things that they <laughs> used to put at carnivals where they're like grab a hundred dollars yes. yeah and it's exactly. all singles in there <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> so yeah i figured you'd enjoy a, a good uh double jackpot story that i thought that was crazy 
just two jackpots. Oh yeah, that's and how fun was it? Uh, so fun. Do you finally understand the the beauty of slots? Like when it's working. Oh, not only it can be so much fun. Yeah, not only that. I I I hit a point where I I cro- I crossed over that threshold. Oh, what the hell? Oh, hold on. I hit that threshold. <clears throat> you know when you start to like it a little too much. Hmm. You know, and then I'm like I'm like starting to quote the slot machine. Yeah. <laughs> we want our cows back. What? <laughs> Well, that's the best. And then you get into like the lore. Yeah. And like the world. <laughs> and you, you, you kind of start to be a character in the world. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Like you're interacting with this. Like we only do nautical themed one now, ones. Oh, okay. Or ocean themed at least. Right. So, so like anything to do with fish, like we'll play that. Okay. You know? So there's layers. That's kind of like our, like we're, we, we see ourselves as kind of the like gambling merman. Oh. So there's Larry. Gambling Merman. Who else? Who else besides Larry? You know, what? There's a, there's some other ones in Reno that we were, or not in Reno, but in uh, Tahoe that we were playing that were random, just like fucking just no name. <laughs> I don't even know what they were. Ocean Master 5 <laughs> or something. Slot machines from the 80s. Yeah. There's still a dude yeah, from the, still a dude from the mob who has to come by and manually collect on them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Got a bowler hat. Ashing cigarettes out in it. <coughs> Your time on this one's almost over, boys. <laughs> it's time to collect. Well, let me say this, though. We, uh, so it was like me and like six other friends of mine that all tested positive. Whoa. What? And me, the... Kelsey, and like five or six other people, and all of us are fully vaccinated. Damn. And uh, one of my friends went to, uh, urgent care to get tested and they they were saying almost all of the positive cases they're seeing are from fully vaccinated people what and the media is calling them breakthrough cases but it's like everyone like I, and, and i'm hearing stories from on group texts of other friends of friends whose entire groups are getting it as well and they're all double vaccinated damn it's like double vaccinated what or fully vaccinated, whatever. <laughs> double shot. Didn't your dad do a double shot? Yeah, you know what's crazy is that there was a there was an article yesterday that some some like uh, reputable news source published, and it said uh, like they did a study of people that got one shot AstraZeneca and one shot Pfizer. Mm-hmm. Pfizer, Pfizer, sorry, Jesus. got a shot on Pfizer. The, the old brain fog. Sorry, guys. Mm. <laughs> one shot from Pfizer. <laughs> we did. We paid someone to make to make the make vaccine their own COVID vaccine. And this is what we got. <laughs> Whoa, Coca Cola! <laughs> one shot AstraZeneca and one shot Pfizer, which is what my dad did because he's fucking insane. I don't know why he did that. Yeah. But they had six times the antibodies that uh, someone who got just like two doses of the same thing got. Yeah, okay, it's like way more effective or something. I don't know. Also, don't quote me on that. Google it. <clears throat> but um, yeah, it, we're in this weird time where it's like, it's, you know, a lot of people are saying COVID's an endemic, like it's just forever going to be here, which I totally believe. Sure. But does that mean we're all supposed to get it, you know? Yeah. Like we're supposed to be vaccinated so that it doesn't, it's not too bad and doesn't leave us in the hospital, but it's like everyone's going to get it maybe. Yeah, maybe it'll just be kind of like herpes. Yeah, everyone has herpes, exactly. Just like it just gets to a point where, you know, one in four, you know, just you get it. Yeah. Well, everyone, yeah. Not everyone has mouth herpes, but everyone has genital herpes. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Literally everyone. Yeah. (laughs) You know what keeps... You're actually a loser if you don't have it. You know what keeps herpes away? It's the... um, the heat from the bottom of a slot machine it it yeah. it just naturally keeps your private area cultured in a way it keeps it at a certain temperature so the right bacteria can form yo what is oh there's a lot of medical benefits behind slots mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. so yeah um, by the way should we should we read should we read some comments from of people roasting oh, us on TikTok bro of all the things that could have poked the bear. I would not have thought it was Dana White. <laughs> I, I was blown away. I'm like, people really, they really like this guy. It's wild. 
I mean, no, regardless if you like him or not, you it it's not controversial to be aware of the fact that he's like an absurd human, as are we all, but like especially him, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Y'all are so dry, you're just repeating him. No, we're not. When when did Dana White say this tastes like a Care Bears pussy? He never said that. <laughs> Was that in the TikTok? Uh, something like that. Maybe. Not even a fan of Dana. F- lie. False. <laughs> False. <laughs> if you weren't a Dan- if you weren't a fan of Dana, you wouldn't care. <laughs> You wouldn't be commenting on this. You wouldn't TikTok. give a shit. You wouldn't care if it wasn't funny. You just like you would you would have scrolled past. You would have saw Dana White and just kept it moving. I've been watching all these vids and I swear to God, it feels so awkward watching these two trying to make literally anything funny. In quotes. Why did you put that in quotation? <laughs> <laughs> funny. This just shows that not everyone should have a podcast. Not one thing they said was funny. Oh yeah, user seven oh six. Cool, man. Tell us more from your dad's internet. <laughs> oh, we got we got roasted people. We really got torn a new one. Okay. Hey guys, we're gonna take another quick break to thank another sponsor of today's episode, Bud Light Seltzer. Bud Light Seltzer launches limited edition retro summer tie-dye variety pack. That's a headline right there. After a year of being distant, apart, and feeling gray, summer 2021 is the chance to make up lost time. This summer, bring good vibes wherever you go with Bud Light Seltzer's new tie-dye pack. Each variety pack features three iconic summer flavors. Cherry Limeade, Blue Raspberry, and Summer Ice. These flavors take inspiration from nostalgic summer favorites. And surprise, these three delicious flavors will also come in frozen form as an ice pop. Chilling. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's so chill. So chill. Yo, <laughs> have you heard? There's a blue raspberry summer ice ice pop. Those are two Dude. flavors as ice pops. Dude, Noel, it's so hot out here, man. Pass me a summer ice ice pop. <laughs> One second. I first need to gla- grab myself a blue raspberry. <laughs> Where can we get these things, dude? Where can we get these fucking ice pops? Um, I don't know. Let me let me ask my boy. Hey, where can we get these? Both are available only for a limited time this summer, so hurry. You can get them delivered right to your door by going to BudLight.com slash delivery or pick it up at your local neighborhood grocery, convenience, or liquor store. Cameras getting too hot while recording a podcast is just proof that not everyone should have a podcast. Exactly. Exactly. That's what I was just saying. <clears throat> I've, yeah, so people people really like Dana White yeah. that much. I mean, people clearly love our jokes even more. Like, all the love they have for Dana White, they loved us even more. Well, they weren't our jokes. We were just repeating what he Right, we, yeah, we were just repeating the part where he was like, what the fuck is good? I'm on six shots of Hallerhead. I'm fucking blacked out. Let's see some cotton candy, bitch. <laughs> I found a... This tastes like a piece of the earth from the Sam I Am book. <laughs> that one's kind of mid, you know. I'll give you that. That was kind of mid, but I feel like I just take th- this fucking bit into my little pony's titties. Like, come on, <laughs> he didn't say that. He did not say that. He never said that. We know ne- what he didn't say it. Also, it's a know? bro. All right, let me calm down. It's a cotton. Stop, calm down. You're trying, you're trying, trying way too way hard, too to hard dude. I know. I'm, it's, I'm cringing. Just knock it off. How can you not sit here and think that a grown man promoting a cotton candy burrito isn't hysterical? This dude is in the business of people. No, he's not a grown, he's not even just a grown man. He's the fucking founder of, of the league where two dudes beat the shit out of each other. Yeah. Yeah. He's also a hardcore Trumper. This guy is like, you know, Do you know what I'm saying? He's absurd. Yeah, I mean, I don't even know if, like, did he? No, it was the Fertitta brothers that found the UFC, but he's like the he's like the guy. He's the president. He's, I think, even more than founding it, he's the face of people beating the shit out of each other. Yeah, that's what I meant. He's the face of people annihilating each other. That's the funniest part to me, is all these people just saying this shit. <coughs> and here I go. Here I go. Ready? I've probably been watching MMA longer than half these motherfuckers, dude. Yeah. yeah. I've literally been watching MMA for like 10 fucking years. 
these fucking idiots. And keep going. These fucking keep idiots. Going. Make this make this a copy pasta. I've been watching MMA for 10 fucking years. See how many years I've been on the mat? How many years I've had the gloves on recreationally? How many meet and greets I've been to? I was the first guy at Donald Cowboy Cerrone's meet and greet. And you know what he told me? Not gonna lie, man, you got a pretty sick anaconda. Because I gave him an anaconda for a picture. That's not a reference to my penis. That's a reference to a highly technical grappling move. So I don't care if you're a fan of Dana White, if you're not a fan of Dana White. I've earned my place to make a few jokes in this here MMA world, okay? Spoken my piece. There you go. There you go, guys. I want to see that in the comments on the next 50 episodes. Dude, I've never seen two guys try so hard to be funny. Straight up, don't talk shit about Joe and do not talk shit about Dana. Because honestly, if I'm being completely honest with you, they could both beat your asses. Not only could they fuck so, you up, what have you ever done with your life, dude? You got a stupid ass podcast. You even know shit yeah. about Fuck It Friday, dude. For some yeah, people, exactly. Fuck It Friday is a point of positivity, and you guys are just here being negative, making weak ass jokes. For some people, that's the highlight of our week, in fact. We work all week to look forward to Fuck It Fridays. Every time. Because on Fridays, we like to fuck it. We like to say fuck it, and we like to fuck it. Every time Dana puts on a pay-per-view, I make sure I throw 70 bones at Dana. Just so he can comfortably do a fuck it Friday and bring happiness to my life. What do you do, dude? You just sit there and talk yeah. shit. Yeah. Wait, speaking of which, hold on. I think there might have been... What What hap, What was before Saturday, the, the last week? Oh, the day before Saturday. Um, the day before Saturday. F uh, Friday? <laughs> Friday, Friday, which means oh! that it would have been... Another fucking Friday. Oh. <laughs> I thought you were talking about something so else. Go ahead and fighting related, but yes, there would have been another fucking Friday. So let's just give it to our boy. Exactly. I think I think it's right here. Let's see. What's up everybody? It's fucking Friday here again at UFC headquarters. And I don't know if you guys actually make and eat the shit that I try here, but if you haven't, let this be the one. Today, Chef Eric has come up with deep fried uncrustables. <laughs> Alright, start off with white bread. And spread raspberry jam on it. Then melt some white chocolate, add that on top. Use a circular mold to cut off the crust. Fry it to 400 degrees for about 15 seconds on each side and dust it off with white powdered sugar. It's fucking hot. <laughs> it's too hot. It's incredible. I think it's the best thing that we've ever done on Fuck It Friday. If you haven't tried one of these yet, let this be the one. Fuck it, dude. Fuck it. Don't say shit, dude. And you know what we no, do I, here on Fuck It Fridays? I don't want to hear you say shit. I don't even want to see you try so hard to be funny. I don't even want to see it. Sorry. Don't even fucking try, dude. Dude, dude, that looks really good, actually. <laughs> I would love to try that. When he was like, Chef Eric has come up with the best possible thing in all of fucking Friday. That was good, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. And when he was like, I don't know if you guys even make any of the shit that I eat at home, but that part was fucking... That was good. That was so good. That was good, dude. You sound exactly like him, man. <laughs> and then when he was like, put down a scoop of jelly and then some white chocolate on top. Yeah. You put the other slice on top and you put the mold over it. Yeah. Then you fry it for 15 seconds each side and you pull it out. So good, yeah. dude. <laughs> and that one part where he said, it's too hot. I just put it in my mouth. I burned the roof of my mouth again. Chef... What is this guy's name? Chef, Chef what? Eric, dude. Fuck you, Chef Eric. Why don't you ever warn me about this shit? You're fired, you piece of shit. Nah, see, now you're just trying too hard. You're just trying to... You're just, you're just repeating what he said, dude. Yeah. It wasn't even good. Yeah. You really shouldn't have a podcast, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know, all things considered, though, that fucking Friday was kind of boring. Yeah, it really was. He didn't really deliver. That was a bad set. It's okay. That was a bad one. 
It's okay. We're looking for- it's hard to compete, man. Dana has bangers all the time with Fuck It Friday. I know. I know. Dog, someone brought up a hilarious point where they were like, man, if they didn't like you guys making fun of Fuck It Friday, they will not like when you clown Dana's head progression size. <laughs> they will not appreciate that at all. <laughs> that was an old one, though. I know. That, like last year? Yeah, we should We should definitely not talk about it. We don't want them to find it. <coughs> Sorry, guys. You know, Sorry. You know what I love? Is like... What? These dudes are literally in love with fucking kingpin from batman in real life <laughs> like they're yeah they they like are in love with like lex luther on steroids how do you even yeah. care i just don't understand how you even care about someone making fun of dana white uh, i gotta let it go i don't know i don't know i don't know <laughs> even if you respect the guy you can still respect him and i mean you can make fun of anyone you know you're like you know everyone's got weird you know, you make people, you guys, all you do is rip on me. Yeah. All the time. You know? <laughs> Hola, guys. We want to take another quick <laughs> break to thank the sponsor of today's episode, Babbel. This summer, get the most out of your travels abroad by learning the language of your destination with Babbel, the number one selling language learning app. From ordering in restaurants or asking for directions to gaining a deeper understanding of the culture, Babbel makes the whole process of learning a new language addictively fun and easy. You know, it's easy to do it on the go. Tell us more about Learned... your Babbel experience, man. Well, yeah, it's, you know. What, what's a, what language did you choose and why? Uh, Spanish, of course, because I'm already 75% of the way fluent. I just wanted to really touch up my skills. I see. You know? Do you have an upcoming Make trip planned or something like bueno. that? Um, well, I can't leave the country for a while, so it's not, but I could go to like, you know, like a, a Mexican market. Okay. Yeah. And speak Spanish. Or if you play on like Try a, a, like a Spanish Call of Duty server, that'd be helpful. E exactly. Right. Exactly. Well, yeah. Guys, I'm taking a trip straight to Verdansk. <laughs> guys, Babel's 15 minute lessons make it the perfect way to learn language on the go. Unlike the infamous language classes you took in high school, Babbel designs their courses with practical, real-world conversations in mind, things you get to use in everyday life. Other language learning apps use AI for their lesson plans, but not Babbel. Babbel lessons were created by over 100 language, language experts. That's almost as many language experts as there are countries in the world. Their teaching method has been scientifically proven to be effective. With Babbel, you can choose from 14 different languages, including Spanish, French, Italian, and German. Plus, Babbel's speech recognition technology helps you to improve your pronunciation and accent. There's, there are so many ways to learn with Babbel. In addition to lessons, you can access podcasts, games, videos, stories, and even live classes. So start your language learning journey today with Babbel. Right now, save up to 65% off your subscription when you go to babbel.com slash TMG. That's babbel.com slash TMG for up to 65% off your subscription. Babbel, language for life. And that's bueno. All these comments about me looking old, I've never seen people try so hard to be so funny, dude. Yeah, honestly, these are super cringe. All you guys are doing is just repeating memes all the time. It's just proof that not everyone should be able to comment on a TikTok, dude. Exactly, dude. Yeah, it's whatever, it's fine. No need to get upset. No. <laughs> okay, so we should talk about the blue face for Yeah, that's what I thought you were bringing up. Oh, now my up. camera turned off. Okay, yeah, so explain to me, because... The clip. Do we have that clip of the blue face new main fight? That's, Any that's what I thought you were going to bring it up. I thought you were bring, referring to that on Friday. Not the fuck it Friday. No, I was referring to fuck it Friday. Uh, which is every Friday. It is now hereby now known as fuck it Friday. You know what is rough about this whole thing before it even starts is, is new main. New main did this after people stopped caring about fighting. I know. And the bare, knuckle, the bare knuckle fights, it's like a very niche audience because it's, it's pretty rough to watch. And, you know, people already have a hard time watching MMA. So, you know, the viewership on this is like straight savages. He chose the most difficult one, the most difficult fight for probably the least amount of money he could make. And it, after everyone else did it. Yeah. This is after the Jake fight. <laughs> After the Logan fight, after the uh, TikTokers versus YouTubers fight, after the fucking Aaron Carter versus Lamar Odom fight, <laughs> after the, uh, what was the other one they did? 
Jose Canseco. Yep. And that was before. After all those fights, mm-hmm. now he chooses, he, now is his time. Oh, boy. I wasn't even close to knowing that it was on. No. Nope. Were you? I, I just caught it just because my Explore page is all blue face stuff. Okay. I'm subscribed to all the blue face you're big, stand you're camps big and stuff. Fan. Yeah, yeah. So. Nice. I love a guy who could convert his music career into, you know, 10 barely legal women locked up in a house. Yeah, exactly. You know, yeah, that shit. For his real so for Snapchat sick. reality shows. That's crazy. Yeah. Nah. Or for example, Lil Pump, who's like a literally a porn star <laughs> now. Is he actually? Is he making porn? Yeah. Yes. It's fucking crazy. Where do you see it? Anyways, keep going. What? what? What's up? Sorry, you I No, I thought you said something. You just said something. No, I thought I just, you said something. I could could have swore you just What's said the something. link? That man, your audio is like messed Who up. Who was that? Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> you want another link. All right, Kyle. Fine. We'll tell you. All right, Kyle. Fine. We'll tell you. What's the link, dude? Working, Let him know. This is working. Hey, what's the link? <laughs> hey, what's the, hey, what's the link real Yo, quick? Yo, Candace, relax. Who was that? Candace, was calm down. <laughs> Candace. No, I went down a fucking weird rabbit hole, honestly. I was like, what the fuck is Pump's Playhouse? You don't want to see that anything that's on there. <laughs> You don't want to see it. I feel like, yeah. What's that dude's character in 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 Walk Hard? Of uh, Joaquin Phoenix? No, he's like, he's like, what are y'all doing? He's like, it's called cocaine. It makes you feel really good and makes you want to go all night. You don't want any of this shit. Yeah, yeah, like, exactly. I do want this shit. <laughs> What is that? It's Viagra. It gives you a boner. <laughs> yeah. So on Pump's Playhouse, which one was your favorite? I'm not commenting anymore about <laughs> Pump's Playhouse. I'm not at liberty to, to discuss this. Because <laughs> you paid for it and you don't want to leak paid content. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, and it's illegal too. So Hey, Lil Pump is a sex worker now. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He's, He's an accountant. He can do that. Yeah. So, yeah, anyway, Blueface and Numane go at it. Let some of this play. I don't know if we can get struck for this, but... Oh, uh, we we probably can. Maybe just... I don't want to get fucking sued by the... These, these pay-per-view companies are l- ruthless. Can we just, you know, go to a single frame real quick? You know, we can we can leave the video out. Like, let it, or, let it play. No, why don't we play it? Why don't we play it, but not put it up on screen? Yeah, 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 that's People fine. People can just see our reactions. Yeah, okay. and maybe mute the audio. I mean, I watched uh, some portions of it. Oh, I mean, I can't even see it. Like, yeah, it's, it's just streaming pretty awful. Choppy. Woo! There it goes. But, I mean, he got doinked. Yeah. He got, yeah. <laughs> he got fucked up, dude. Yeah, li- straight up wobbled. New man got fucked up. I'm really glad it, it didn't end up going bare knuckle. I'm genuinely I know, happy that for the been, kid. That would have been nasty. That he didn't walk into that. Yeah. Um, But he got, he got touched up. And then. He got rocked. I wonder, does he have like bruises on his face and shit? Oh. Uh, like, is he still filming TikToks? I don't think so. Let me, let me um pop over to all, our boys. Instagram. Oh, he deleted his account. Did he really? Oh, it's just it's just called Kane now. Ah, he's trying to rebrand. Trying to rebrand. Oh, he's he's standing. Yeah, no, I don't. I don't see any difference. Nah, he just. He said it was an honor working with. Oh, he's still. He's just showing him. He's just posting pictures. I think. Yeah, there he is right there. Pre-training, pre-fight. Chose the hardest one, most difficult one. Did nothing for his career, man, except just create a bunch of content of him getting his head bounced off some hands. Doink, doink, doink. doink. Yeah, he got touched up. Bro. <laughs> and you know what? Before anyone goes, man, you gotta respect getting in the ring. No, you don't. He got paid. <laughs> he got paid. No, you don't. That's what the money's for. You don't have to respect that shit at all. You can respect fighters who get in there for 30 grand and believe in themselves and are like, I'm going to become a world champion one day. And, you know, you can respect that athleticism. You don't got to respect this bozo 
goes in there for a quick check and he's like, yeah, so what? I got my ass beat. Because you know why? Because cause that dude doesn't respect you and in a flash, if that kid make a, made like a substantial amount of money off that fight, if he made like a mil off that fight, he'd be talking so much shit. He'd be on Instagram trying to make you feel bad. Yeah, I might have got my ass beat, but look at this new roly I got. Yeah. Nah. Mm-hmm. Nah. Preach. Sorry, dude. Dude, preach that, dude. Sorry, I just had to go. Preach in. that good ish, dude. No, but that's that's true. That's actually true. Anyone who does this shit f- loves to flex. Yeah. You know that that whole shit about you know uh, any of these guys if they lose but they made a big f- chunk of change, they will be sure to remind you that they're still better than you. That's what they'll try to do. So. By the way, did you see the uh, social gloves thing? They're suing uh, Live Nation X or something like that. What the fuck is wrong with my camera? Um, well, he said that they're suing Live Nation because Live Nation was the one that collected people's money. They were the one that collected people's money. It's Live X money. Live. It's not even Live Nation. Yeah, sorry. Live X Live. That's what I meant. What the fuck is Live X Live? <laughs> That's a crazy name. <laughs> Yo. Live X Live. Look at this. Mc, McBroom's attorney says client is no longer contesting number of pay-per-view packages being sold. What does that mean? McBroom's lawsuit is assigning most of the blame for the $10 million in losses. Uh, uh, his, his, okay. He's, they're assigning it to LiveX Live, and his team has backed away from their claim that the event's paid numbers were being misrepresented by LiveX Live. After hiring a, quote, a leading forensic auditor to probe LiveX Live's transactional level payment data from its payment processors. McBroom and his attorneys have accepted LiveX Live's report that only 136,000 pay-per-views were sold. So what, what could they possibly sue for? 136,000? That's confirmed now? I guess so. Wow. No <laughs> way. That's what that's <laughs> That's 10 times lower than what he was expecting. More so than that. I think he didn't he say in in the best or in the BFF's podcast, the Best Friends podcast. <laughs> didn't he say that in the Best Friends Forever podcast? Um <laughs> that it was supposed to be he was expecting 1.8 million, I think. Yeah. I might be wrong, but I 1.4, 1.8 million. Yeah. And they got 136,000? Bro, this dude's life is on fire and he's getting evicted. <clears throat> yeah. Whoa. Damn, bro. You should just tell mid Dana White material and just coast, man. Yeah. It's just <laughs> Yeah, take a page out of our book, dude. Yeah, just be mid and coast. Just be fucking mid. <laughs> you know, invest in in buying a spaceship and then you know, Lick. If you're going to try anything from fucking Friday, let it be this one. <laughs> That's a direct quote, my guy. Yeah, you didn't even really say anything right there. You just repeated what he said. Exactly. And it still works. <laughs> this is why you can't let people into the... I'm convinced what goes on in the bonus just has to stay there. Because once you put it out with, you know, everyone else who's just passively watching, they don't get it, man. All our bonus people know. When you strap in at the top of the bone zone, it's like, okay, this is going to be weird. Oh, yeah. yeah. The bone, <laughs> yeah. We don't need to <coughs> advertise it that much. But you, if you know, I don't want to say, I don't use that stupid phrase. But if you, you know, there's, no, I mean, there's nothing better. If <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah, no, keep trying. You're keep aware? Trying. You're aware. <laughs> if you've had this experience. Let's just leave it there. If you've previously had this an experience like this then you know what to expect. Exactly. <laughs> to say the least. To say the very least. No, I just, I don't think, what I didn't appreciate out of all this was all, with all that yip yapping, yip yapping. And they don't even right. know, bro. They don't even know what goes down in the bonus episodes. They don't see you hanging upside down on a chair. <laughs> they don't see us three hours deep in recording, slightly delirious, going. You know what I'm thinking? What? I was so low energy on Tuesday. My symptoms started on Wednesday. 
I think I was I was already feeling it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, 100 percent That's what I thought. Well, we all got tested. The crazy part is we all got tested and everyone was negative. How did you guys not get how did not one of you get sick? Or Kyle said he felt sick. Felt a little ass. Just a little. Felt felt like a little butt. <laughs> Listen to this. Hey guys, with the last Dana White TikTok getting some attention from UFC fans, did you guys want us to edit the Dana the Dana bit from the latest episode as well? Or do would you rather us avoid it? <laughs> edit that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Put that shit up. Ah, uh, bro. I don't even I just don't even want to deal with it, man. <laughs> Why? It's funny. Dude, it who cares? I mean, you're you're right, you're it's, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We could put it out. It doesn't really matter. Yeah. But you know, I just I don't I just don't need like half UFC, half Nelk fans DMing me on a Wednesday being like, "You literally look like you are the definition of a half sender, you fucking pussy." <laughs> I just don't I don't want to deal with it. I just like you know, you know, you're right. Fuck it. Just put it up. Who cares? It doesn't matter. Yeah. Did you see that video of Joe Rogan getting in the ice bath for 20 minutes? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's so good. I went to sleep to that. Did you? <laughs> oh, yeah. I use that as my guided meditation. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Someone just, I was like, I was looking at that and I was like, ah, if I wanted to think of something funny right now to do with this if i wanted to think a little bit hard right now there's got to be something you can do and someone just ripped it and put it on tiktok and said joe rogan taking a shit in an ice bath (laughs) and i was like that's funny yeah it really is funny yeah i think you know here's the thing though is that ice bath did did any part of you look at that and go i kind of want to do that yes i want one 100 (laughs) percent I used to do that shit after after diving. Yeah. We used to take ice showers and then switch to hot showers, ice showers, hot showers, and it would that shit makes you feel incredible. So a bunch of guys would take a hot shower and then take a cold shower? Yeah, no, that we would do that. And speedos too. <coughs> Dude. Dude. Oh can't even believe on your friend <laughs> yeah not nah. uh play that video that i just sent to talking points luke i, I want to if you wouldn't mind take a please please and thank you i wanted to take an ice bath after i saw that i, I thought that looks kind of cool it is dope right Did how long how long do you think you could last an ice bath yeah four seconds <laughs> i think go ah, ah, yeah. ah, and then i go right out I'm bust. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> Ew. Oh, whoops. I just sent it to my saved messages. Ew. Sorry, hold on. There you go. There you go. Ew. You just nut and that shit just freezes. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> it's just in you still in your dick? Yeah, it's just at the end of your dick. You just, just you, you stand up with a giant stalactite <laughs> hanging out your dick. <laughs> <laughs> they put a, you put it under like a forty-two X microscope, and there's just grown men inside those semen's swimming, just the the whole man. All right, the woman has twelve orgasms a day due to a rare condition. Oh yeah, this thing, let it rip. An orgasm out of the blue. I would only go places with friends that I knew understood what was going on with me. It's been a while. How are you? I'm, I'm okay. Um, some days are better than others. So after I got back from Germany, I got the 60-inch flat screen. Do you know how hard it was to carry this sucker up five flights of stairs? Next time, I'm using a crane. <sighs> Me when I take an ice bath? I could sometimes hold it off for short periods of time by holding my breath. And I would get out of public situations as quickly as possible. Oh, excuse me. I didn't run my life. My body ran my life for me. Sorry, guys. It was very depressing. It got is this real? But have, it's I just like a dramatic dog. As 12 spontaneous this is orgasms re- a has to 100% I was going from be the precursor to... to specialist and they didn't know what to do with me. Hold on, my camera turned off. Hold on. Hard time in my life. This is 100% a precursor to getting banged out. 
What do you mean? This is a porn. This is definitely a porn. Oh, you think so? It has to be. <clears throat> it kind of seems like it's some TLC show. I just don't know why they made her dramatically reinterpret <laughs> what it looked like. I'm saying. <laughs> like, it's, she was saying it in past tense, like she's over this condition that she had. But so they're like, okay, so did, would you just like, would you mind like, you know, making it seem like it's happening right now? <laughs> would you, what would you do? What kind of sounds would you Do you mind reenacting your lifelong trauma? Just real quick. Exactly, yeah. That that has to be a porn, right? That, I don't know. My camera is fucking not working. So let's move to the bonus so I can fix this. <laughs> just, that's it? Yeah. Oh, we got to get a over. good exit. We can't just end up. We're there. over. So guys, if you're going to try anything <laughs> from Fuck It Friday, let it be this Stop, one. Stop, dude. You're just repeating what he said. Just enough. That's kind of a well. My camera's just off, so I'm I'm already gone. Bye. Wow. All right. <laughs> just like that. Just what the fuck? I'm already gone. I'm my my camera's off. These remote so. episodes are awful. This is the worst thing oh, yeah. to happen. Yeah, fuck this. Ever. Yeah. We gotta call this one like the boys are back or <laughs> something like we're back inside <sighs> to get people excited. For just the worst episode. I'm pissed. I'm actually pissed this is the episode. <laughs> Fuck it. I'm going to just do this whole can of dust off. We'll see you guys in the bonus. <laughs>